1962 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus read by PCGS. It is sometimes difficult to remember that the Lincoln Memorial Cent design is now more than half a century old. Despite massive mintages, these coins were not saved and are now condition rarities. With the plus designation, this example is one of 12 1962 Lincoln Cents that PCGS has certified with just single finer. The surfaces are brilliant and frosty with rich orange mint color. Marks and spots are absent on this superb gem. It was sold for $8,812.50. Number 7. 1961 Franklin Half Dollar with Double Die Reverse. Graded as PR66 Cameo by PCGS. E Pluribus Unum and United exhibit remarkably strong die doubling. Other reverse legends also show doubling. Brilliant and prominently mirrored with outstanding preservation and noticeable cameo contrast. It was sold for $8,812.50. Number 6. Wonderfully Toned 1960 D. Washington Quarter Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. Both sides of this superb gem display intense toning over frosty silver luster, with bold design motifs. The obverse is mostly deep gold, with burnt orange and sea green near the border. The reverse shows intermingled russet, lilac, green, and blue toning. It fetched a sum of $9,000. Number 5. 1965 Roosevelt Dime struck on a 90% silver planchet. Rare transitional alloy error in Mint State 62. The U.S. Mint transitioned to clad dimes during 1965. Silver dimes continued to be struck to use up the remaining stock, but those coins were intended to be produced on 1,964 dated dies. But some silver dime planchets were struck with 1965 dies. This is an unblemished example with light straw gold toning save for a small area of powder blue patina near 3 o'clock on the reverse. It was sold for $14,400. Number 4. 1965 Washington Quarter struck on a silver planchet. Another transitional error coin with the same date. Graded in Mint State 62 by PCGS. A transitional error, struck on a leftover silver planchet from 1964. Errors of this type are rare. This piece is satiny with ivory white luster and minimal abrasions for the grade. Slight strike softness is seen on the finer details of Washington's portrait. It was bargained for $16,800. Number 3. 1964 Jefferson Nickel from Special Mint Set. Graded as MS-68 Full Steps by PCGS. A phenomenal condition rarity worthy of inclusion in the finest Jefferson Nickel set. Satiny surfaces are silky smooth in texture fully struck, and simply a delight to behold. Exactly how many prototype 1964 SMS Jefferson Nickels were produced is not known with certainty as no records were kept regarding this coinage. This rare specimen was sold for $17,625. Number 2. 1964 Lincoln Cent from Special Mint Set. Enigmatic Experimental Mint Issue. According to Heritage Auctions, there is no way to explain the existence of 1964 SMS coins. These coins have a special finish, often described as falling between proof and mint state circulation strikes. They closely resemble the 1965 Special Mint Set coinage in terms of quality. Speculation suggests the 1964 SMS coins were struck as mint trials prior to the introduction of 1965 Special Mint Sets. Or, they may have served as special presentation sets. But the mint does not report any such mintage. It is thought no more than 50 1964 sets were produced. This MS-65 red scent example displays the appropriate razor-sharp strike and obvious dye polishing to create its special appearance. It was sold for $18,000. Number 1. 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar. Elusive Accented Hair Subtype. Graded as PR68 Ultra Cameo by NGC. The 1964 Accented Hair variety is actually a subtype of the initial Kennedy Half Dollar issue of 1964. This issue, with its bold part in President Kennedy's hair, is seldom found with black and white contrast, and it is highly elusive in PR68 Ultra Cameo. This superb gem is fully brilliant with frosty silver devices and deeply mirrored fields. It was sold for $19,975. There you have it, folks. Eight remarkable coins from the 1960s that stand as testaments to history and artistry.
If you enjoyed this deep dive into numismatic treasures, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your fellow collectors, and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more intriguing coin tales. God's will, see you in the next episode.